do you have an impression that no matter how hard you tried and how much time and money you invest in your clothing, you still cannot achieve this chic, pulled together look? I think I may have the answer to your question, why? And I definitely know how to fix it in just six simple steps without spending extra money on it. So keep watching. Most women believe that in order to look chic and pull together, you need to invest a lot because quality costs money. Well, money can buy you a better quality, but it definitely cannot buy you this polished, sophisticated, elegant look. Because style is not about clothes, but about your way to put it all together in an outfit in order to complement your body, your features and express your personality. So let me break it down for you. The starting point of looking chic and stylish is to wear clothes that suits you the best. Fit is the key to looking fabulous. Knowing which fit and which fabric complements your height and your figure type and wearing clothes that fits you like a glove immediately elevates your style. And it doesn't even require extra money. You just need to pick the right fit for your height and figure or have it slightly altered in case needed. And if you still struggle to understand which clothes complement your proportions, just go to the link under this video, answer two simple questions about your height and figure type, and get a personalized style map absolutely for free. I do believe that every single woman deserves to look absolutely fabulous, no matter her height, figure type, weight whatsoever. This is why I have created a special style map to help you understand how to dress best for your body, which fits work for tops, bottoms, dresses, outwear, and how to put it all together in the most flattering, complementary way. I have also included some outfit formulas to help you put outfits together for different occasions. So go to the link under this video, download the guide, and use it as a starting point to craft your impeccable style. Another key element to look polished and pulled together is to create defined silhouette, which is why structured fit is so important. And if there is one item which immediately adds structure to your outfit and help it to put it all together and bring it to level up, it's a blazer. Blazers immediately elevate the most casual, basic items in your wardrobe. It can be simple black legging or jogging pants, jeans, knitwear, even some shorts. Let's have a look at this example. I'm wearing black legging, very basic, comfortable, cozy for the winter time. And if I pair them with knitwear and chunky Chelsea boots, I will have pretty casual basic look, which is absolutely fine, but you can hardly call it chic or elegant. However, if I only add a structured layer to my outfit, such as this tweed blazer, it will immediately elevate my outfit, which is basically a $20 legging and $20 t-shirt. I also swapped chunky boots for more elegant high riding boots to complete the look and added some layered jewelry. So I can easily go to a meeting or for dinner feeling absolutely confident and chic. Another example is this knitted ripped dress, which I love because it's very cozy, comfortable, but it looks too basic and not elegant enough, especially in combination with chunky Chelsea boots. So I decided to elevate my basic dress by wearing a men's blazer on top, which adds structure, creates this beautiful layering effect and makes the dress look more chic. Structured padded back supports my black boots and adds contrast to tonal bash combination. So if you want to integrate black as a contrast color into your outfit, try to support it with another black to make the look more pulled together. It also helps to minimize the shortening effect on black shoes because you let the eye travel up to another black accent. Another simple yet not that obvious hack to achieve this polished pull together look is to simply swap jeans that most women wear 365 days per year for simple tailored pants. Most women don't feel confident about wearing tailored pants for in casual outfits because they simply don't know how to style them and they think that it immediately requires heels or some formal tops, but this is exactly the trick to achieve this effortlessly chic look. You just need to style them as the most casual pants and pair them with comfy shoes and very basic top or even sporty top. 
I can wear my basic sweater with jeans as most women do and don't take me wrong, it's perfectly fine, but it doesn't really add up to my style. It just feels and looks comfortable. But if I only swap jeans for tailored black pants, it will not only create a more structured and flattering silhouette by elongating my legs and accentuating my waistline, but also makes the simple outfit a way more stylish and pulled together. Adding structured back as a clutch and accessorizing it with layered jewelry make the look complete, simple, yet elegant. If you want to look chic, you don't need to forget about your favorite pair of jeans. Not at all. Just dress them up a bit by pairing them with a structured top. It can be a simple shirt, even a men's shirt, a silk blouse, a structured top, or my favorite piece, structured blazer. This will immediately upgrade your denim and make the entire look more polished and pulled together. The most common way to wear jeans is to pair them with knitwear or some basic thin jersey. But thin fabrics, especially jersey ones, are exactly what makes your outfit look cheap and frumpy. This is also what makes bad quality jerseys stand out even more. I just swapped jersey top for a men's shirt. I bought this shirt from my husband's closet, but you can easily find a very good quality and fit in men's department at Zara, Uniqlo or some other affordable brands. Roll up the sleeves to accentuate your wrists and make you look more feminine and elegant and you are ready to go. I know there is no need to emphasize the importance of color when it comes to personal style and achieving this polished, pulled together look. And you may have heard a lot of different concepts already, such as if you want to look chic and pulled together, go and dress monochromatic head to toe or choose neutrals. But actually the styling hack I would like to talk about today and the color contrast I would like to show you today is tonal dressing and this is my favorite way to actually combine color because it is not only flattering and complementary in terms of silhouette it helps you to elongate the silhouette and look also much slimmer and slender but it is also a very simple hack to achieve this elegant sophisticated look by just pairing different shades of one color I'm wearing Bordeaux vegan leather pants with pastel pink shirt, which is basically the lighter shade of Bordeaux. Mixing colors from darker to lighter shade and the other way around creates this very smooth, sophisticated combination and actually helps you look taller and slender. I can also add another shade of pink by wearing a sweater on top, which creates very beautiful layering effect and adds dimension to my outfit. Basically, it can be any color you prefer, different shades of gray, blue, green, as long as you go for low contrast combination within one color, moving steadily from darker to lighter shades. It is also a very good way to introduce color into your wardrobe, especially if you are not confident with bold color combinations, such as color block, for example. I know I'm not gonna be the first person to tell you that accessories is the key to looking effortlessly chic and pulled together. But I would like to emphasize, first of all, the must-have accessories to elevate your basics and some very small but very important, crucial, I would say, details to pull any outfit together which are really worth paying attention to. My first must-have is definitely a belt. It helps you to elevate your most basic pants, jeans included, and makes them look more chic. It is very important to go for neutral belt, mid-width with metal buckle, matte preferred, but please avoid very shiny yellow metals because they will achieve the opposite effect and make your outfit look cheaper. Second must-have is layered jewelry. Again, it helps you to elevate your basic tops no matter what you're wearing. It can be a white tank top or basic t-shirt, some crew neck sweater or even a plain sweatshirt. Watch and bangles are also important. And the last not least, a very important element is a structured bag. It should definitely have defined shape, quite some volume and structure in it if you want the bag to elevate your basics and make your entire look more polished and pulled together. I would suggest to go for a structured tote or a shoulder bag or you can even opt for a medium size or bigger clutch. Et voilà, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments if this video was useful for you. And I'll see you next week. Bye!